in my video for the module so we don't have to do it twice, if that makes sense. Because I can easily show the, you know, the the Facebook and the Facebook app if it's working fine for my own environment. But I know that the marketing side can get touchy. So I want to see how you do it. And if I can reuse your stuff, then that's great. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Maria? Yeah. Yes. Uh, do you have it uh, on video? Yes. Um, I'm, or just audio? Yeah, I'm recording your uh, the call. Excellent. I'll send that to you once after the call. All right. Beautiful. Awesome. That, that'll be great. So let's begin. Uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, we had some problem with the ECP and stuff. So yeah, it, it was a bit of a rush. No problem. So uh, we're going to divide our uh, demo uh, in three parts. So the first part will be uh, discussing uh, what needs to be set up on the Facebook side. And then the part two will be uh, how to use the Facebook channel. And the last part will be the Facebook marketing. Uh, the Facebook app channel has been deprecated. I'm not sure if uh, you've been uh, notified uh, because the feature uh, has been uh, removed uh, from Facebook themselves after the recent security issue. <laughs> So we, we don't have the Facebook. <laughs> we, uh, we only have the uh, two Facebook channels uh, for for uh, 4.5. Beautiful, no problem. <laughs> okay, so let's begin with the Facebook uh, on part one on the Facebook setup. Okay. So the first thing is we need a Facebook account, which uh, which we already have the the one that we use for testing. Yep. And then we need at least one uh, Facebook page. And this uh, Facebook page uh, needs to be tied to the Facebook uh, account. OK. So I'm loading the Facebook uh, website. So this, uh, this is the one that we use for testing. I'm not sure if uh, you're using the same. Um, I have both mine and Christina had given me credentials for the other one, too. So I was going back and forth to make sure that you know, I'm doing it right. And I that's when I noticed the problem on both sides. That's why I came to you. Oh, what's the uh, account of the other one, the one that Christina gave you? Uh, she gave me the um, something. Is it the same one here? Yeah I, Bienvenido. Think, yeah, I think it's your Facebook account, Nathan. So. Okay. So this is the one that we're using for testing. <laughs> okay. And then uh, here... You can see the uh, uh, extra menu. So to create a page, you can just go uh, click the create page uh, link. Okay, I'm not seeing that right now. All oh, okay, there we go. Maybe it's just slowness here. Okay, go ahead. And then uh, we're going to uh, choose business or brand. This is just for example, if 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 the client wants to use community or a public figure, it's okay as well. Okay. We'll put some name. To some category. Oops. Uh, oh, same name, so different one. So we'll just keep the profile picture. And then the cover. And then uh, that's it. So we have the Facebook page. OK. And then uh, the thing with uh, the Facebook page is it can be managed by uh, multiple uh, accounts. So later on uh, in Business Manager, for example, uh, I have a separate account and then uh, Jody has her own account. So we can both manage the Facebook page as long as uh, we're giving the right uh, permission. Oh, okay. Uh, more on that later. Okay. Okay, so the Facebook page here is the one that is required on the this one uh, on the page names. 
So this uh, here on the uh, RPI uh, channel configuration, we have uh, we have all the Facebook pages associated with the login. Okay. And then aside from a Facebook page, we're going to need of a Facebook application or a Facebook app. Uh, to do that, we need to have an account on developers.facebook.com. Uh, the thing is, if uh, an account is going to log into uh, developers.facebook.com for the first time, it's going to need an extra uh, extra uh, verification because uh, if somebody creates a Facebook account, it is not automatically uh, given a developer's uh, per permission. Right. And then uh, once the uh, once the account has uh, the, the developer's uh, developer's feature. So it can now view this page. So here, we currently have all the applications associated with the Tessagon that we're using. So let's create a new app. So uh, below the list of apps, we have the Add New App. And then we'll just uh, put some name. And then contact email where if ever uh, Facebook has uh, changes uh, with their policies or uh, change logs, so they're, uh, they're going to see, use this one. Okay. Okay, so now we have here on the page uh, different products. So for uh, Facebook uh, marketing, we're going to need uh, the Facebook login and the marketing API. For the Facebook channel, we're going uh, we're going to need only Facebook login. So first, let's select the product, uh, Facebook login, and uh, let's have it uh, set up. And then uh, we have here the different uh, platforms. So for each uh, Facebook app, we can associate uh, multiple platforms. So we can uh, put website, iOS application, Android, Xbox, and so on and so forth. For this one, for the basic one, it's uh, going to just pick website. Then we input the site URL. And then we click continue. This is the code for the Facebook login uh, dialog. So we don't need that here. Okay, we just click uh, next. Next again, and that's it. Now after uh, that, we go to settings. This one here, the client uh, OO settings, we just uh, leave it as is, except for this one, the valid OO uh, with our URIs. Now, the importance of this uh, field is this is the one that is uh, being used in the redirect URI of the Facebook and uh, Facebook marketing channels. So, for example, I have here the uh, GUI generator.com. I, I need to have that on this field as well. If I don't, the uh, login verification for the Facebook channel will not work. Okay. And then uh, these are optional uh, fields. And then uh, that's it for the Facebook login. Okay. Now let's add uh, let's add the uh, marketing API product. So we choose this one and then I click setup. Okay, so uh, the dashboard is currently empty because we have the uh, because uh, our app is new. 
And then uh, in, uh, if you notice here on the upper right, there is this uh, off button and then it says status in deployment uh, in development. So if uh, the application is only for de uh, developers, so it's okay to have this off. But uh, if it uh, needs to be a public, so we just have to switch uh, this one off uh, to status live. Uh, so for now, we just leave this one in development. Okay. And then let's go to settings. Oh, not this one. I forgot this one. No? Here uh, on the uh, left menu, so we have the dashboard for the app. Okay. So uh, we can check here if the API calls for the app uh, is uh, on point or if, if, uh, if it has uh, gone above the limit. Facebook is uh, currently strict. So the uh, recent uh, changes is the maximum rate limit uh, depends on the number of daily active users on the page. So uh, the more users you have uh, liking or commenting uh, on your page, the more uh, limit uh, will be given to the page. Oh, okay. So the more active the page is, the more that they let more stuff go through it. Yes. Okay. And then this one, under the basic uh, tab, we have uh, the import, uh, some important uh, things to fill out. So we have the, uh, here, we have the app ID, which is used on the channel configuration, this one. And then we have the app secret. So this one is used here. And then we need to uh, put uh, a privacy policy URL. This is uh, required. So let's just use this one as a filler. And then we need to have an, an app icon. Okay. So let's just use this one as filler. And then we need to choose a category. So business pages. And then the business use. So let's say uh, support my own business. Now, if you notice here, we have a website because we picked a website as the platform earlier. Uh, at any time, we can add uh, Facebook web games if you have an iOS application, Android, Windows app, and then we save. So the importance of the privacy policy URL, the app icon, and the category and business use, uh, we can't. Go, uh, the application can't go through the uh, review process without uh, these fields. Okay. Uh, this one, advanced, so it's, if it's a native or desktop application. And then as you can see here, uh, when a uh, new Facebook app is created, it is automatically mapped to the latest uh, API version. Okay. So the uh, last API version supported uh, by RPI 4.5 is 2.12. So right now we have a 3.0 because Facebook just released uh, their new version. Uh, last May, uh, last uh, May one. Okay. So uh, what uh, what will happen here is if I use this application on RPI, it will not work because it is not uh, backward compatible. But for all uh, applications created in earlier versions, Facebook automatically 
uh, upgrade them to, uh, to the uh, latest one. Okay. So that's why it's important for uh, for the uh, version to uh, be uh, to match. And then, so these are just extra settings that uh, we don't need right now. And then we have here in case. Uh, Wait, can I just dial back? Because I, I know I have a little bit lag on the uh, the the display, and that's fine. I mean, I'll, I'll catch that back on the video. But so right now, any Facebook apps that you're making, they're on 3.0. Yep. So anyone who's making Facebook stuff now won't be able to work with RPI 4.5. Yes. Yes. Um, does people not see that this is a problem? <laughs> Uh, we've uh, talked to that uh, with Jim and Ian, so okay. it is uh, it is actually one of the uh, what do you call this one? one of the issues we're facing right now because uh, the thing is uh, Facebook is quick to release a new API versions, so oh I, no, uh, I, did. I did why you guys are are a little bit behind. I totally get it. I mean, anything sending out that much that quickly, but my coming from my point of view, I'm trying. One of the reasons that people are asking for this is that they haven't used it with Facebook yet. So when I go to show them, then they're going to be creating their Facebook apps for the first time. And yeah. they're to a wall that this isn't going to work. <laughs> That's true. Uh, uh, but but uh, in, I think in case of this one, uh, the uh, newly released uh, version 3, in case uh, we need to, let's say, uh, we need to upgrade uh, RPI, uh, RPI 4.5 to support uh, Facebook uh, ver uh, version 3, I think uh, that can be uh, discussed with uh, Ian and Jim. Right. Awesome. Because, yeah, that's what might be. But I'll, I'll let them decide how big of a push. I just, if you're material <laughs> out there, this is going to make us look really bad if we're like, oh, yeah, here's how you use Facebook. But you can't use it yet. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> It's just mean, people. It's mean. No, just kidding. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so far, let's see. Uh, and then the next part, see here the business manager. Now, this one we need. Uh, we need this one uh, to create uh, for Facebook uh, marketing. So the importance of uh, the business manager is it's the it's sort of like a portal where. Um, Multiple ad accounts uh, can be managed. Uh, when I say ad account, it means uh, an account on uh, Facebook that is allowed to create uh, ads. Okay. This one, we have uh, two current uh, business managers for this account. I can click this one, create a business manager, but it will not allow me because apparently I've, I've reached the limit. Oh, okay. They only allow so many? Yeah. Facebook word. So I think it currently has uh, two business managers, name it for uh, each account. So for this one, we're going to choose uh, RPI Global. Okay. Now the uh, web page for your business manager is different than the uh, normal and uh, developers uh, Facebook. So this one is business.facebook.com. And then you can see here on the left uh, all the pages, ad accounts, and apps, and Instagram accounts tied to the current uh, business manager. So for RPI Global, we have uh, currently uh, three pages, so Redpoint Credit Card Rewards, the Demo Rehearsal, and Redpoint Game 2.0. Now, these are just, you know, uh, or, or ordinary Facebook pages. And then for ad accounts, we have uh, Bienvenido, 
RPI Manila Dev. Now the ad accounts, you need to uh, set uh, set a payment method for each uh, ad account. So we currently can't create uh, ad account now because we have some payment problems with uh, one of our earlier accounts. But uh, the uh, the setup is uh, easy. Okay. And then we have here the list of apps associated with the business manager. So we currently have one, Redpoint Credit Card Rewards. And then Instagram account. So we have one, RFI Tester, just for testing. Now going back here on the application uh, settings. So we now have, uh, we have selected the RPI Global as the business manager. And then we can click Save Changes. So you can see here, uh, we, you can add a specific ad account ID. So we have uh, two ways. We can, uh, we can select or we can add an ad account here. Or you can uh, type the ID here. And then we have the rows. So I'm currently the administrator. So similar to a Facebook page, we can uh, we can I can add another Facebook account as developer, tester, fellow admin, or analytics user. And then we have here alerts from uh, Facebook. If ever there are changes with the API or security or policy, so uh, they will be sent here. And then this one, the app review. Now, uh, this one is uh, the sort of tedious part. As you can see here on the Facebook channel, so we we have here app permissions, and then uh, it's, it's the same thing with uh, Facebook marketing, although uh, the permissions for both are different. Okay. Now, uh, because of the last uh, issue with uh, uh, Cambridge Analytica, so Facebook has uh, has become uh, more strict in implementing their uh, permissions. So before we were able to acquire. Uh, the permissions easily, as you can see here in credit card rewards. So we have uh, this list of approved items and then a couple of ones for a current submission. Now for a new application, By default, you will have uh, two permissions, the email and the public profile. This one, the default. Okay. And then for the other uh, approvals, they have to, uh, the right on, has to submit. So when I click the uh, start submission, there's a dialogue here that lists all the uh, different permissions. So we have to check manage pages, user friends, uh, ads management, and publish pages. Now, uh, these are uh, these are synonymous to the app permissions listed here. Because uh, it it, uh, it used to be these permissions are uh, easy, are easily granted, but uh, currently we have to create a submission for each uh, new application, and at the same time, all uh, existing applications need to resubmit. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, because they're forcing everyone to go back through. So this one, the one that we're using, so we need to. Uh, undergo the app review uh, submission again until August, though. otherwise we'll lose uh, the access. 
Uh, currently, uh, Dan Santos is the one uh, in charge of the of, of getting the re of review process. So, if you have some questions regarding this one, so we can uh, ask him. Who's that? Uh, Dan Santos is the one in charge uh, oh. of the re okay. uh, review process. Okay. Okay, so once uh, we have this uh, list of uh, current submission, and then uh, the client has to fill up uh, fill out the details here. So there are some uh, questions, and then if uh, required to submit a screencast file, so on and so forth. But uh, otherwise, uh, if the uh, if the required permission is not is not uh, approved. So some features here will not uh, will not work properly. Okay. Uh, question so far regarding the setting up on Facebook site. Yeah. Um. No, I don't think so. I think I'm good so far. Okay. So we'll move to the Facebook uh, channel uh, demonstration. And we'll use the existing uh, Facebook app, uh, Credit Card Rewards, and uh, Jody will discuss the Facebook channel there. Uh, Jody will take over for the Facebook channel. <laughs> Your turn. I'm going to discuss on creating Facebook channel. Let's think. Ah, okay. First, we need to create a Facebook channel. Go to configuration, then social Facebook channel. We need the app ID. Credit card. Yeah. We're going to use the credit card account. This one. Next, the app secret. This one, copy, paste, and the redirect URL, URI, which is found. At Facebook login and settings, under settings. Any of, uh, any of the four? Any of yes. the four. I'm going to use the guide generator. Then, this one. As is. This one, up for permission as is. Then, going to choose a web publish site, which is AWS. Need, then, need to authorize. Uh, Fail to check. Ah, remove, remove this one. Yeah, so remove this one. Busy. Current is slow. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Jody, yes. the Redpoint credit card is um has what API version? Uh, two point twelve. Slower. Credit card. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's two point eight. Uh. Yeah, 
2.6. It was created uh, on version 2.6. But I think uh, 2.6 is currently uh, deprecated now. Mm -hmm. um, is it possible um, to, te to test 2.12? Because I'm planning to demo this um, with a client and we, we only have 2.12. So I wanted to make sure that 2.12 is will work with RPI. Cause Yep. That's the only thing. Uh, there should be no, yeah, uh, there should be no problem with the uh, two point twelve. It's uh, automatically uh, Up compatible yeah. uh, upward. Mm -hmm. As long as uh, RPI itself is uh, coded uh, to support uh, version two point twelve, uh, which currently uh, is is for uh, uh, four point five. Okay. okay. It also goes back like 4.3 is supported for uh, 2.12 too, right? Uh, I think uh, 2.10. 2.10, okay. So 4.3 is 10 and 4.5 is 2.12? Yes. Yes. Okay. Wait. Slash. 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 Do you have to stay the page name? Oh, oh what, what, what was it, Bonnie? Uh, do you have to stay the page name yet, or it's got to connect first before you can choose your page? Uh, um, it has to connect first before, before. The choosing the this one. Page name, yeah. I wonder what it does. What's going on? Page. HTTP yeah. is the same. Is this Credit correct? Card, yes. Uh, uh, I uh, don't think it's correct. The app secret looks uh, short. Settings, we see. Just to be sure. It's just to be sure. Oh, okay. Okay. Once we authorize, we need to choose a page name, which is credit card. Red point credit card rewards. Then save. It does the channel. Complete. The email that you sent last time about the uh, everyone friend of a uh, friend uh, privacy settings. Hello, Maria. Maria. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the uh, it wasn't a bug, but uh, it was more on the mm -hmm. uh, privacy as uh, setting uh, avoided by the user. So Jody will uh, demonstrate mm -hmm. uh, how uh, how that works. Okay. So what we're going to do uh, first is we're going to remove the. Uh, uh, we're going to remove the red point uh, uh, red point credit card app on the Facebook uh, account itself. So we'll go to the personal account, and then on the settings, you can see there uh, we have here on the left app settings and business uh, integrations. So it's either. It's either listed under apps and websites or business integrations. Uh, right now, we can uh, under the business integrations, we have the red point credit cards here under the active uh, apps. So we're going to uh, re uh, remove that first. Yep, remove. Uh, the importance of this one is that once, an, uh, once a Facebook app is listed, 
under Facebook account, it retains the uh, it retains the uh, uh, privacy settings. Now, to make sure that uh, we can override that one, so we have to uh, do this. We have to ma uh, manually delete the application from the list of apps associated to the account itself. Okay, so once we have that, now we're going to reset the authorization. Then as you can see, uh, it asks for the email and password again. Okay, so now this dialogue is important because if uh, here we can set the privacy. So we can click on edit this. And then uh, we have here the option to not give the friends, uh, friend list or email address to the Redpoint credit card app. Okay, so we just uh, leave it as is. And then this one. You can see here, uh, public for uh, friends only me custom. Now, uh, the issue that uh, you you reported last time, Maria, the problem was mm -hmm. when we authorized the application, we only selected for, uh, we only selected friends. friends. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when you went to the offer, you were selecting everyone as the privacy, which is uh, synonymous to public. So since the earlier user did not uh, grant public permission. Even if uh, RPI is asking for the, uh, everyone uh, privacy, it will still uh, only go to the one that, uh, that is given earlier. Um, okay. okay, so we need to select public uh, here. Yes. here. Yep. And then on, in the offer, Perfect. when we select friends, everyone. Friend, everyone. Yeah, and, or, or friends, yeah. Yes. It should work. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Should should it be the same? Like this one should be public, and then the offer should be everyone. Or if I choose everyone, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. If I choose public here, and then I choose ev uh, friends in the offer, yes. would that work? Would it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, the thing is, uh, this one it it uh, states uh, which is the highest permission we can give. So if we choose public here, and then we choose uh, friends. In, in the, the offer, offer. Mm -hmm. that's okay. Uh, uh, when the post is created, it will uh, display uh, only for the friends. Mm -hmm. okay. But the problem is if we only choose friends here mm -hmm. and then we chose everyone, uh, everyone mm -hmm. for the offer, mm -hmm. it, uh, it cannot give uh, the public permission on the offer. So it, it will uh, default to the next, uh, to the uh, highest mm -hmm. permission allowed, which is friends. Okay. Okay, so the hierarchy is in the configuration. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You choose here public, then see. Okay. So then okay. And offer. Then see. Questions so far with the Facebook channel uh, configuration? No. Okay. Now we proceed on creating Facebook channel offer. Oh, no, not Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, as you can see, we have here a Facebook channel. We're going to select a new Facebook channel. And then uh, we need to sync the uh, to get the pages for the channel. And then we have now the red point credit card rewards. So for the Facebook offer, we have uh, two post types: the standard post and the offer for business. The standard post is just like uh, is the standard post. Uh, we can post uh, just text or images. And then for offer for business, it's similar to uh, Groupon coupon types. 
promotional and you can put message here sample test and in picture you can add picture from URL or display picture using an image asset. We're currently having problems uh, using the image asset because AWS is currently experiencing some problems. So if uh, we're going to use uh, image assets, so we just just this one and then uh, choose image uh, images saved in RPI and then it will it will be uploaded to the uh, well published site associated with the channel. Mm -hmm. I would love to, uh, we'd like to demonstrate that right now, but uh, our AWS is currently having a problem. So we just go to the URL option. Okay. So that's not a problem with Redpoint, that's a problem with our AWS that we use for publishing. Uh, come again, Bonnie. Sorry. Um, the the problem that you guys are facing it's not RPI. It's um, the AWS. You're saying the publishing site. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah. The AWS is the ECP you're using. Is that right? Yeah. Vin gave me a little folder on the one he has, and it's an AWS. No. Oh, okay. This one. So we have the uh, ECP here. AWS Amazon Web Service. So this one, and then we create a web published site. So this one is mapped to that uh, AWS, and then it's the one that we're using on the channel. Okay. So it's currently slow. Uh, we, can't, we, we can't seem to upload uh, anything right now. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it was working yesterday. <laughs> I mean, wasn't that the one built from Amazon databases and stuff? They should know what they're doing. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I actually have one. Um, I have one. Oh, okay. It's a web publish site. I see. <laughs> okay. Can, can we use the local IIS? Which is? Ah, no, uh, the problem, uh, if you're going to use the local IIS, is that uh, it will not work because when uh, when you uh, when you supply the URL to Facebook and mm -hmm. it's not accessible publicly, mm -hmm. it will return oh. an error. Oh, I see. Uh, so uh, it needs to be something public. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay, yeah. so we're going to run now and uh, create an interaction. Going to use manual broadcast. Broadcast completed. So it should be there on the Facebook page now. Well, yeah, let's see. okay there. Is that it? Yeah. So this is the standard post. Next is for offer for business. We have different types of offer type. We have here and percent off, amount of, and buy one, get one, free stuff. So it's the uh, discount percent off. And also here a coupon type, in store or online store. Going to use in store only. Oh, 
expiration date December December 2018 <laughs> Okay, just save it Closing Connection success broadcast completed so it should be listed on the page as a new offer uh, okay. here refresh refresh Where's the page? Uh, this one, the Facebook offer right here, uh, the one that we created, is not uh, shown on the offers here on the uh, red, uh, red Point Credit Card uh, Rewards uh, page. It's uh, going to be used for the Facebook marketing. marketing and offer. Uh, if the user will create an offer here, it is not valid for Facebook marketing. So it's like uh, two separate uh, identities. Okay. So later on, we're going to uh, see the uh, the offer here uh, on Facebook marketing. Yeah. So questions so far with regards to the Facebook uh, channel? Yeah. Um, no, I'm a little confused about that one, but you said that you're about to get into it, so. Okay. So we'll move to Facebook marketing. So this one, it's uh, almost the same as the Facebook channel, except for some uh, differences in app permissions. And then aside from uh, the page name, uh, it also uh, asks for the ad account and the account name of the page. So the ad account here, if you go back to the business manager, here uh, on the ads manager, we can see all the list of ad accounts. Now to get uh, to, get to this page, So we go to the facebook.com page and then uh, click on manage ads. Mm -hmm. And then uh, by default, it will load the uh, default uh, ad account. So if, if, if you want to switch to another ad account, so just click this one. Click the ad account that's shown and then we can switch to a different ad account. Now, the importance of this page is uh, for each ad account, all the campaigns and all the ads created uh, can, uh, can be viewed on this page. So let's go to the one that we're going to use for testing. Then we need to ask you to. Then as you can see here, so we have the account overview. 
Then we have the list of campaigns, and then ad sets, and then we have the list of ads. Now, uh, if uh, if the if each campaign is uh, gray, it means it's uh, not active. If it's uh, blue, it means uh, it's delivering. So if the date is still ongoing, the ad will run and the ad account will be charged uh, depending on the uh, uh, assigned budget. Okay. So uh, if the client uh, wishes to override the, or st uh, stop uh, prematurely the ad, uh, uh, they can go here. And then, uh, so these are just almost the same as the Facebook channel. We go now to the offer. So we have here uh, three tabs. So we have the campaign, we have the ad set, and creative. Now the campaign is uh, listed here. Then we have the ad set, which is equivalent to this tab. And then we have the creative, which is equivalent to the ads tab. Now uh, it's sort of uh, it's sort of a hi uh, hierarchy. So for each campaign, it can contain uh, one or more ad set, and then uh, for each uh, ad set, it can contain uh, one or more ad. So let's uh, select a channel. Which which one is working here? This one, five point three. So we need to sync the pages. To get the latest one, oh, we need to reauthorize 5.53. 5 okay, so we, let's reset the authorization first. Then, then we need to double check the uh, Validation. Okay. And then let's sync again. Okay, so we have now the uh, uh, Facebook page and then the default uh, credit card is selected. And then we have the different objectives. Now, for each uh, objective, fields listed under ad set and creative uh, will change. So we have app installs. This one is used for, uh, let's say, uh, promoting uh, iOS game or Android application. Then we have uh, brand awareness, uh, reach, and uh, we have brand awareness and reach, which, uh, which are supposed to uh, promote a brand. And then we have conversion. This is uh, mostly used for a website and then uh, the uh, we can track uh, what, what kind of uh, transaction the user did. And then we have the event responses. Now this one, it is related to the events of a Facebook page. Mm, okay. So here on the Facebook page, we have the events. Hmm, slow. And then uh, this one, uh, after selecting the event response objective, it's supposed to be uh, there, uh, the list of events for each page will be listed here. The problem with this one is because of the Cambridge uh, incident, Facebook uh, pulled the events uh, permission. So it's uh, we, uh, we currently have an open uh, open box for this one. But uh, the, the thing here is it's more of a uh, permission uh, approval. But uh, once, uh, once the permission is granted, so when you click uh, the event response objective, it will list all the events of the of the page. Oh, it's low. And then we have here link clicks so for promoting uh, URLs. We have offer claims. This one is related uh, to the offer for business that uh, Jody created on the uh, Facebook offer a while ago. And then we have uh, page like. 
So this is uh, basically just uh, promoting the page. And then we have post engagement. This one is similar to uh, event responses, except that instead of uh, promoting events, it promotes the page post. Okay. So all the uh, things posted here can be promoted as, uh, as an ad. And then we have uh, video views for uh, solely promoting videos. Just curious on that one. Would that be something like when people like, well, would you put something inside the post after the event and we'll send you something? Would that be what it would take care of? Um, not really. Okay. It's more on just uh, uh, creating ads and then uh, watching, uh, uh, monitoring the activity of the ads. Okay. So, okay. I got to remember it's just monitoring, not grabbing that information because they've already gotten in trouble for that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, and then uh, for, if you notice here, so we can create a new campaign. So we just put the name or in case the client wants to use an existing campaign, so we can use this one. And then it will list all the previous campaigns under that uh, objective. And then, uh, incidentally, if uh, an existing campaign is used, so there should also be some existing ads. Okay, so here we have the app install. So if that is chosen, just put the app uh, store website URL. So this one, it needs to be the URL of the either the Android or the iOS uh, store. Do you have red point here? Okay, so we have, for example, here a Google uh, Google app. So that needs to be there, and then asset name, and then uh, we need to choose the uh, mobile platform, age, gender. This is a more on targeting. So the location is a comma based. It's a comma separated a list of locations. Same thing with the interest. And then we have the ad set spend. Now for the ad set spend, we have two options. We have the per day and lifetime. So if we select per day, so we need to input a budget uh, budget amount. For example, uh, 1,000 here. And then 100 for the target or max bid uh, value. So what this means is that uh, for each day, Facebook will uh, can use up to uh, 1,000 uh, for the uh, selected uh, ad account. So once it reaches the ads uh, that is worth uh, 1,000, so it it will stop delivering. Now this one here it's for the bidding. So. We're going to compete for other uh, uh, bidders. So we can set uh, the maximum account, uh, amount of bids that uh, we can use. And then optimization goal is just, uh, it's uh, similar to the campaign objective, but uh, it uh, focuses more on what, on, on how the ads uh, will be optimized. For example, uh, select here app install, and then the billing event is how will I be charged for the ads? So I, I want to be charged per app install, or if they want to be charged per impression, or how many uh, target audience has been reached, or if, if let's say I want to be charged per link clicks, even if the user did not install the app. 
And that one thousand is in whatever units that the payment is tied to. Yes. Okay. And then if you select the lifetime, this one, you can uh, set the total budget amount and then the end time. So let's say we select uh, June 30. So the total budget for, for the campaign until June 30 is uh, 10,000. Now we have here a button here, uh, checkbox here that says allow Facebook to automatically serve your ads at the most efficient price. So once that is selected, it ignores the target maximum bid value. So the uh, uh, Facebook, uh, according to Facebook, uh, it's cost efficient, but you know it's up to the client how how, uh, how they want to uh, plan their uh, budget. Yeah. And then if we change the campaign objective, so we can see here that uh, some fields are different. So for brand awareness, we have we don't have the optimization goal and the reach uh, drop down for conversion. So we have a pixel ID custom event type, and then uh, almost similar uh, ad set uh, fields. Now the pixel ID. Uh, it is here listed uh, in Business Manager. So go back to businessfacebook.com and then Let's move somewhere else. Where's Excel ID? We're currently looking for the Pixel ID. It has moved somewhere. And that's the ID number under your name. I'm sorry, Bonnie, but what was it? I would say that's not the ID number. Okay, that's that's the manager. ID. Oh, yeah, it's different. This one, the cut overview. Here we sorry about we're look, we're looking for it. Excel. Oh this one. So you go to business settings and then all tools. So here Okay, so when you go here you can have the pixel ID here. Use that one for campaigns uh, under conversion objective, and then the idea of the uh, pixel ID is uh, this one is supposed to be used by the client on their website, and then using this one, Facebook can track what type of uh, transaction uh, any visitor can uh, has done to the website. And then event responses, uh, it, it should list the available uh, events here. The fields are all similar. And then we have the link clicks. So we just uh, put some URL here. Facebook is going to uh, promote this URL. The fields are also similar uh, under ad set. And then offer claims. So it lists here all the offer 
created uh, under Offer for Business. So a while ago, Jody created this one. This one, she has created the 10% offer. So this, uh, this is it. And then the asset fields are almost similar. Okay. And then page likes. We have the post engagement. It lists all, all the uh, page posts. So the fields are similar as well. We have the reach, and then we have the video views as well. Now, uh, there are three types of creatives for each ad. So we have the uh, we have the standard ad, we have the carousel ad, and we have the slideshow ad. Um, Depending on which uh, objective uh, is selected, so there are a certain uh, type of uh, types of creatives which are allowed and are not allowed. So for example, here in page likes, so standard is allowed. Carousel is not allowed. It will show a uh, validation here that image carousel is not allowed for the selected objective. And then the next uh, slideshow is allowed. So for the compatibility, uh, it will be displayed here in the validation issues. Now, a standard ad is either just one image or one video. So let's add an uh, ad name here. And then we either select an image or a video. Uh, if we're going to use an image, so we just uh, select this one and then add the message and then choose ad placement. Now there are five ad placements. So we have the desktop feed. So uh, if the ad placement desktop feed is selected, the ad will be displayed here on the uh, main uh, page book. Uh, the uh, timeline. Right column will be displayed here on the right. And then mobile feed is for uh, iOS and Android apps. Mobile external is for non-iOS and non-Android uh, Facebook apps. And then we have one which is Instagram stream, which uh, will appear depends on the selected uh, objective. So this one. And then uh, we just provide the Instagram user. Now, if uh, instead of an uh, image, we're going to use a video, we need to supply the uh, full path of the uh, video. It should, it should be uploaded on a public server. By Vimeo or, or YouTube or something like that? Uh, not... Uh, uh, not those type. It, uh, it should uh, lead. Uh, it should be the direct. Uh, what they call this? The, the, the direct uh, URL. Okay. So I'm going to use sample videos here. We have here uh, MP4 files. But you could use a link that they give you from Vimeo to put it there, right? When they give you a direct. Uh -huh. We haven't tried uh, the Vimeo yet, but I think uh, if the v uh, Vimeo will, uh, will reply with the exact uh, location of the video, it should work. Okay. Like if I were to click on the link and it goes to it, then it's the same thing as if they had it there. Yep. Perfect. Okay. I put it here and, and then type the, this is a required field, the video name. And then uh, call to action. This one is the button. It is the button that will appear on the uh, lower right part of the ad. So okay. some uh, some ad creatives uh, need call to action, some doesn't. And then if a video is selected, image is also required. The purpose of the image 
is it's going to be used as the thumbnail for the video. But if uh, we're just going to use uh, image, we just remove this one. And then uh, it will uh, create an image ad instead. Okay. And the uh, carousel ad is going to we'll give an example because we currently can't upload because of uh, AWS. So the difference, uh, the difference between the standard ad and carousel ad is the standard ad just one uh, image or video. The carousel ad is uh, multiple uh, videos or images, so like this one. So as you can see, there are, I think, uh, four videos in the one ad. to put the message again, then the link, and then call to action button, add placement. And then we can choose between uh, carousel cards or using images or videos. So let's say I'm going to use images. I can click add here to supply how many cards I, I want. It's, it's very similar to the standard ad. So if, if you're just going to use uh, image, just supply a picture. Then if you're going to use uh, the video, you also need to supply the uh, URL. So one thing I just want to make, um, I just want to ask without assuming is inside the Facebook um, channel, you could do a digital asset or a link to an image. Um, can you do a link to an image here? Because I notice it's saying video URL as opposed to just URL. Uh, for the Facebook marketing, we need to use uh, image asset, no uh, image URL. Okay, that's good to know. And then we have here uh, two check boxes. So the first one it says automatically show the best performing images first. So what uh, what it does is, for example, there are uh, four images uh, in one carousel. Now uh, what Facebook does it it tracks which uh, which among these images or video. Uh, users respond to the most. So which one uh, gets the most uh, response is labeled as the best performing image. So every time the ad is served, it will, add, uh, it will use the whichever image or video uh, is clicked more. And then... Okay. Uh, it does the goal-driven asset, of course, behind the scenes. Yeah, and then uh, this one, add a card at the end of the uh, with the page profile picture, what it does is it adds another square here with the uh, profile uh, pro uh, profile page name and profile uh, picture. Just an extra thing. Okay. And then for the slideshow ad, so this one, the output, uh, unlike the standard and carousel ad, the only output for a sli uh, slideshow ad is a video. So we supply title, text, and then image duration. Uh, how uh, how long to show each picture? So let's say uh, 10,000 milliseconds. And then the duration uh, or the uh, transition uh, duration, the fade in, fade out. We have the call to action, and then we have the ad placement again. And then for this one, we will just supply uh, pictures. But the output for the uh, for this uh, slideshow ad is a video. Okay. Uh, we'd love to show to run this one, but we're currently having a problem with AWS. So instead, we will show you existing uh, campaigns. Okay.
So we're pulling up uh, the existing uh, slideshow ads that we created before. And then uh, in Ads Manager, we can uh, search for specific ads. For example, uh, uh, here in the results window, we look. Uh, we use the ad set ID. Search that one, and then we have the uh, campaign for that. We have the ad set. And then we have the creative or the ad itself. So here we have the slideshow video yes. example. Uh, this is uh, how the ad uh, looks like when served, uh, when served by Facebook. So we can see here the selected ad placement for this one, desktop news feed. And then uh, if the client wants to see it uh, in action, so we can view on Facebook, this one, uh, how it looks like on Facebook, or they can go to the post itself. This is the one that has the reactions and then the comments. And then uh, share a link, just to share the end. Uh, questions so far? No, wow, that looks cool. I think uh, that uh, that's it for the Facebook marketing. Cool. I really appreciate that. You really definitely went into depth with it and uh, saved me a ton of time of trying to dig through manuals. Figure <laughs> there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of what do you call this uh, combinations here. I think uh, we can uh, we can send you a matrix of what, uh, for example, uh, what campaign. And then what uh, what optimization, optimization goal in building events are allowed for each campaign, as well as what a, a type of creative can be created. So that will help with the you know uh, with figuring out uh, which one is allowed or not. We can send that to you. Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Varia, question. Um. Hi. Yeah, I think I'm good for <laughs> good now. I, I actually have to test it on my own. It's <laughs> <to know. laughs> information overload then. Yes. That, no, but it's great information overload. I like this type instead of just talking over my head. Yes. So, awesome. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so we could actually go back to this video and see what's wrong. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably what. Yeah. Because, Christine, I think you're that we were both trying it mm -hmm. claiming it a problem <laughs> yes <laughs> Facebook is a victory maybe <laughs> also the um, uh, aside from the quick uh, uh, quick release of, of uh, what they call this uh, API versions of Facebook uh, mm -hmm. since it, it is a big uh, platform of course there are some uh, problems uh, within Facebook themselves so Sometimes uh, some things broke on Facebook, and you know we still have to check it, or you know if we can uh, resolve it, or or if, if not, uh, we submit bugs. Then we, uh, we, the good thing is uh, they are quick to reply. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is great. I mean, like I said, uh, I'll I'll circle back with Ian to see what plans are as far as getting 3.0 to work with our stuff. Um, because I'll need to know that before we start pushing the module out the door to customers. Mm -hmm. um, but no, this is a great, uh, at least for customers who already started trying to create it, they should at least have some apps in there that, that are at the lower version and they can uh, get yep. going. Um, oh, that's awesome. And as we go by, people start and doc, um, you know, using this more. Excellent. We'll be in great shape. So. Also, one thing about the uh, older uh, Facebook uh, versions. Mm -hmm. Once a new version is released, so the previous versions uh, have a deprecation timeline. So, you know, Facebook uh, may give uh, one or two more years for a specific version before they uh, completely retire. It. So it's uh, it's always uh, recommended to use the latest version. Yep, total sense. Awesome. 
So that's it in our end. Perfect. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Jody. Thank you. And thank you. <laughs> and just. Yeah. Video after Dan, yeah. um, so that if I'm stuck trying to read, at least have some video. Mm -hmm. so that'll be great. Okay. Yeah, I'll send it once it's done. Hey, no problem. Saving. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you guys. Have a great evening. Yeah. Have a great day, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I'll go send you the matrix. I appreciate it. And also, if you have a, a quick matrix on at least, unless all that I need to know is like 4.3 is 2.1 and 4.5 is 2.12, then I, I think it sounds like with the deprecation timelines, anything before that's going to be gone at this point anyway. So. Okay. So that's good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.